Good day everyone, welcome back to Yale's Corner. So last time, um, I said that I'll be making a new tank for my Golden Age and Arwana. So this is my new tank for Goldie. So this is a 120 gallon tank with a 30 gallon sump filter. I'll be using this 2 inch circular bit to make a hole on the outlet and this uh, 1 inch to make a hole in the inlet. I am now drilling a hole for the outlet of this tank and I'm using this 2 inch circular saw. And, uh, I'm tipping it into the water from time to time to prevent damage to the blade. So after making the hole, the edges are sharp and I use the drill to smoothen it up. It's now perfect. And now I am drilling the hole for the inlet and I'm using this one inch circular saw. I will be using this glass film to cover the back portion of the aquarium. So I am removing the air in between the glass panel and the glass film using the ruler. I am now doing the plumbing for the inlet of the tank. And this is now the finished inlet for my tank. And I will be using this submersible pump which has the capacity of 2,200 liters per hour. So this is the outlet for the tank and I'm fixing the tubes using the uh, PVC pipe cement
and I am done with the plumbing in both the inlet and the outlet of the tank and uh, it's now time to prepare the uh, sump filter for the aquarium so I am now placing the filter media for the sump and uh, this time I am placing the back row on the third compartment of the sump and as you can see I have placed already the uh, colored black filter foams on the second in the second compartment of the sump filter and I am now placing another type of media which is this, the lava ring so I place the lava ring uh, in the same compartment of the back roll so I place the lava ring in the spaces besides the uh, beside the back roll and uh, by the way uh, all filter media are being washed before placing it to the sump And I am using this fiber wool uh, as a mechanical filter and I'm placing it on the first uh, compartment of the sump uh, by the way I bought this fiber wool in the upholstery store I am using this stability to prevent a new tank syndrome and this is the product of a C-Chem. Actually I've been using this uh, in every new tank that I have and it's quite good. And this is my sample for my R1 tank. So the first layer is the uh, mechanical filter, and the second layer is the uh, black foam, and the third layer is mixed of lava ring and back row, and the fourth layer is for the pump. And after 24 hours of water cycling, I think the tank is now ready for golding. This is Goldie two hours after she was placed in his new home and I think uh, she has adapted well to his new home and uh, as you can notice the right side the right eye of Goldie is a droop eye and I am planning to do a cosmetic surgery for the droop eye of Goldie and that would be the next update for Goldie. So, thank you for watching this video. And hope to see you in the next update.
thank you.